neighbors on flooding potentials at 11 o'clock this morning. We made it almost two weeks without rain, but now with more in the forecast, all eyes are on the water once again. So how long will the risk for flooding continue? Josh Breider is live near Lake Monona with the answer. Good morning, Josh. Good morning. Water resource engineers tell me they expect the flooding risk to continue into mid to late October. They say it's going to take weeks of dry weather to get the lakes down to their summer levels. And with that rain in the forecast, once again, city officials are urging you to keep those sandbags in place. We first told you one week ago they didn't want anybody to have the impression that this threat was over. Lake Monona is still above the 100-year flood level right now. If we get too much rain too soon, the county may have to open the locks again out of of Lake Mendota. That would increase the flow into the Yahara River and other lakes below. Because the water table is still sitting high, other low line areas could also be at risk. And another thing we're looking into this morning is the state of our roads here in the city. Due to that flooding, many of the surfaces were covered for a longer period of time than normal. Coming up just after 6 30, I'll have more on the safety of Madison streets right now. But as you can see, the uh, boat ramp here at Olin Park still closed this morning due to those high water levels, ladies. Absolutely. We will try to carry Mayor Soglin's uh, address in his press conference yes. later to this morning on Channel3000.com. Josh Breider reporting from Olin Park. Thank you, Josh. All right, 6.08 your time now. UW-Madison 